Bitcoin news. The subdomain, let's we'll call it uh, Bitcoin. I've been into that stuff lately. Click create site. Then click your username again. Click your sites. And under options, select an option and manage the site that we just created. First, we need to create a category. So click categories. And we'll add a category. We'll call the category Bitcoin news so we'll add that category now technically the website's done already but I want to add some content so we'll say add post add curate post for the post source I'm gonna select Bloomberg I'll show you all these other post sources in just a few minutes category is gonna be Bitcoin news and then the keyword I'm just gonna say Bitcoin let's go ahead and search I'll select the very first article that comes up uh, scroll down and click add post you can see success, post added successfully. Now let's take a look at that site that we just created. I'll click view site. And you can see the site is already made. It is Bitcoin and Bitcoin news. We've got this article that we've added. And within this article, we have all kinds of stuff, commenting and like buttons, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and that's in under a minute. Now I'm gonna show you how we can make this into a really really nice website by taking a little more time and you're going to be blown away at what this buzziest platform can do in a very short amount of time. Again, you've seen that it can actually generate a website in under a minute, but if we take a little more time, we can create something that is uh, truly uh, a good looking website, one that we can make uh, money with. All right, so let's go back and, you know, kind of fill in some of those steps that we took pretty quick. Let me go back to your sites and then on this Bitcoin news website that we just created, I'm going to select an option, I'm going to click edit. And so we can add a an address, a country, and a city. Now that, that's optional. So I'll put in a, an address that is not my address but is a, a local address here. I think it's a business address or maybe some apartments or something like that. Uh, West Horsetooth Avenue, uh, USA, uh, that's uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. Let's try that. Oh, I need a space here between Bitcoin and news. So you can always edit this stuff later. I'll go ahead and save those changes. And now we're going to kind of run down through these features and add them one by one and show you what we can do with this buzziest platform. So if you're familiar with WordPress, it's kind of like WordPress, but even more simple, just simple. Stripped down with all the stuff that you don't need and uh, really made easier and even more powerful in a way. So with pages, we can click pages and see if we have any pages yet. You can see by default it gives you, uh, you know, some, some legal uh, type of pages, terms and conditions, disclaimer and all that kind of stuff. You can add uh, your own pages. You can add an unlimited number of pages. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with posts because I think that's uh, easier than pages. Then I'm going to come back and show you how to add some pages after that. So uh, if we wanted to add a post, so we could add a post uh, manually or we could add what's called a curated post or a video post. So three different types of posts that we can add. So we can add a manual post, a curated post, or a video post. I'll show you each of those. So adding a post, let's go ahead and give it a title. We'll call it, uh, you know, Bitcoin news for, you know, and we can put in today's date, okay? Now, just to make this video a little more evergreen, I'm not going to put the real date of today in this right now. But this would, you know, if, if you are, say, like a blogger or an expert on a topic, you could come in here and, you know, you could create your post of the day or whatever. Uh, you can put in your summary and your description. This is all good stuff for SEO. Keywords, you don't really need to worry about too much. Google doesn't really uh, look at the keyword uh, meta tag. Uh, these days, but the summary and description, absolutely, you definitely do want to fill that out because that can help with your SEO. Uh, add the slider, I'll show you what that means once we add that. Uh, you can add it to your pics, so we'll show you what that means as well. Show only to registered users. Uh, we don't want to do that because we want this to be available to the public, but there is a good reason why you might want to only show certain content to registered users, and that is that it can help you uh, build a list of subscribers. All right, and then um, we'll enter the content here. So here is my overview of the Bitcoin market for today. All right, so here's point number one, and then I'll go on to point 
number two. Now, obviously, you know, I'm not taking the time to write a real article here, um, but that is something you could do. Again, that's kind of the point of a manual article, or you could go find one. You could go, you could go over to uh, you know, Easy and Articles or someplace that um, has articles that you can take and get one there. But this is a, a good way to add your own unique content that you've written yourself. And then uh, you can select your category. We've only added one category so far. That's Bitcoin News, and that fits. And then uh, an image. It's great to have a main post. Uh, image. So let's go over, and I'm going to show you guys how to grab an image. We'll go over to Pixabay. Uh, Pexel is another one. Now, if you are a member of our Media Cloud Pro platform, that's Media Cloud Pro. I believe it's .co. Yeah. So if you're not a member, head over to MediaCloudPro.co, and you can get access to over nine million uh, media assets. So if you're not a member, go ahead and join that. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you can also find images at a site like yeah. Pixabay. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just search for Bitcoin. And let's just grab, uh, you know, a random one. So I'm going to go ahead and do a right click. I'm going to save this image to my hard drive. Yeah. Save it to my downloads folder. Go back over to this post. I'm going to go where it says select image. And I can either drag and drop or browse for it. And I'm going to drag and drop that image that we just downloaded. I'm going to select that image. Click Select Image. And there we go. We'll scroll down and click Save Changes. Now if I go over to Posts, click All Posts, and you can see this article has been added to the site. Now if I were to go back to our home page and refresh it, you can see that this article along with this image have been added. I also added it to the slider. So this is the slider here on the home page. If I click this right arrow, you can see now this article is featured in the slider. That's what the slider means. Now obviously we're going to want to get rid of this demo page. We don't want it to say buzziest on here. Um, we're not trying to you know, make the buzziest name you know, the primary thing on the website here. This is just a, 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 a placeholder. It's all about whatever you want the site to be about, your name, your brand, your logo, all that stuff. So back on our list of posts, I'm going to go ahead and delete the demo post. Okay, so that was one that we add completely manually. Now let's add another one using the curation option so I, so I can show you some more of the curation uh, options and abilities. So for post source, you can see that we have a whole lot of different sources available. We've got the News API, Bloomberg, BuzzFeed, CNN, ESPN, Fox News, Google News, Medical News Today, TechCrunch. Now this list might change from time to time depending on, you know, if these websites change their rules or APIs or things like that. You know, this list may, may grow, we may take a few off the list, but the point is you're going to have a lot of content options to choose from. Associated Press, the BBC, Reddit, Wired, all kinds of stuff. So again, since I'm dealing with um, you know a finance topic here, like Bitcoin, Bloomberg is an easy place for me to find uh, some content. And so again, you can select your category that you want to work with. So category is going to categorize those posts that are made. So let's say. In fact, before I create another post, let's go ahead and go back to categories, and let's create a new category. So maybe, in addition to Bitcoin news, I want to have uh, altcoin news, or maybe I want to do one on e Ethereum. Is that how you spell it? I don't know. Ethereum news. And we'll add that to the menu as well. Now let's go back to add post add curate post and let's see if Bloomberg has any Ethereum news. I think it's actually it's supposed to be with an E. Let's see. Ethereum. I think that's I think that's right. I can go in and change. I can fix that. I'm going to search and sh sure enough there it is. Ethereum. So I'm going to select this Ethereum article. Scroll down. Add post. I'm going to go back to my categories and fix that category that I spelled wrong. So right here, Ethereum News, select option, edit. I'm going to change that I to an E. 
save that. Now, if I go back to my home page and refresh it, you'll see that here across the top of the page, we have a menu. We've got Bitcoin news and we have Ethereum news here on the menu. We can also add our own custom menu items. We also could have taken these off of the menu if we want to. So back there under categories, uh, under options, you can edit a category and you can choose not to show it on the menu. In this case, I want to show it on the menu. I think we can have a few main categories like Bitcoin news, Ethereum news. We do need to remove that demo category though. So that's something you'll want to do is go over here to demo. You can either edit the demo and just change it to something else or you can simply delete it. So we go ahead and delete that demo category. Now if we refresh the home page again, you can see the demo is gone. And we've just got Bitcoin news, Ethereum news. We, we do have a gallery. We've got our privacy policy, disclaimer, contact, etc. And again, we can customize this menu uh, basically however we want. All right, so I'm going to show you one more type of post that we can add, and that is a video post. You can certainly embed it in video from anywhere that you find a video, but YouTube is an easy place to find uh, videos. So let's go over to YouTube.com, if I can spell it correctly, and let's type in uh, Bitcoin. And this just happens to be a recent one that, that was posted three days ago. And I'm going to click, uh, you know what, I'm just going to grab this watch URL, just the URL straight out of the top there. That's all we need. Go back to the page, paste the URL, and click Get Video. All right, and we'll give it a title. Uh, we'll just call this uh, Crypto Expert interview about Bitcoin. And again, you, for SEO purposes, you may want to create a short summary and description. Uh, you can add it to the slider if you want to. And you can add your own additional content. So maybe I want to add my own commentary here. Here is my awesome commentary about this video. There we go. And we'll click add video. Oh, sorry, we need to select the category again, Bitcoin news, and add video. Now, if we go back to my homepage again and refresh it again, this video has been added. All right, so now if I click on Bitcoin news, we'll see that we have a, a, a couple of things here. We've got this expert interview, that's a video, and then we have the uh, article that we created manually, then we have that first article that we did in the one minute demo, which was a curated article. Alright, and so this YouTube video, if we click on that, you'll see that we have the YouTube video here. You know, the other thing that we could have done there is added a an, an image. So you can add a video image right here, and so uh, if you don't have a video image, you could just use a still image if you wanted to. So again, you know, going back to a place like Pixabay, I could, you know, something like this uh, woman holding a, a Bitcoin image here might be a good video thumbnail. So I could click that, uh, save the image to my hard drive. And then I'll go back to my admin panel and select an image. We'll drag and drop that image that I just downloaded. And then I will select it, click select and then add video. Oh, you know what? I need to go back to that actual, that post. So this is this is like a new post page. We already added that one. So we need to go to posts, and then I need to go to this video, select an option, edit, and then select that image, which we already uploaded. So now I can simply select it and save changes. That makes more sense. We're not adding another one. We're simply saving changes to the existing one. Now if we go back to the home page and refresh it, you can see that that thumbnail has now populated this video post. And if I were to scroll over on the slider, we also have that thumbnail on the slider. And if I click the play button, it's going to bring up this YouTube video. And you can see under the YouTube video, here is my awesome commentary about this video. So you can see already, we have not done a whole lot and it's starting to look like a very content-rich website. 
and we have these cool features, you know, interactive features, which Google actually loves that stuff. The more interactive your web site, the more that you can get people interacting with your content, the better it's going to rank. All right, again, we're going to come back and do pages in just a little bit because I'm going to show you some powerful things that you can do by adding pages to your site. Uh, next, let's take a look at uh, gallery.